back everybody thanks for tuning in again this is part two of ceramic coating the mustang if you want to see what we did up to this point go back watch the previous video it's basically we cleaned the car clay barred it wiped it all down got it ready to go for the polish and the ceramic coating so that's all done i showed the products i used it took about an hour hour and a half to get to this point maybe a little longer if you count washing the actual car but basically we're going to go over what we'll be using for this video, which is the polish, you can see I got the dual action polisher. I did a little unboxing video. I'll put that out maybe before this, just in between, throw it in there. You know what it all comes with. And basically the polish I'm going to be using, I went with Chemical Guys BSS Scratch and Swirl Remover. It's kind of like a compound polish in one because I think it's... The paint is bad enough that the polish wouldn't quite do, but a compound is kind of overkill. So I figured I'll try this stuff out. It got pretty good reviews. See how she works. And then basically, after that, we have gone with Avalon King, the armor shield. So I'll throw, I'll open up the box and show you all what's in here. And we'll do that before we go over how to put it on the car. Yeah, in this video, stay tuned because it'll be polishing and... So what do we actually get in the armor shield box? You can see it comes nicely packaged. This is the 30 mil bottle, 10.2 ounces. Comes all packaged in the silver box on the inside. Get it out. You can see. Oh tight together. I don't know which way is up. Other way. Label on the top. Open her up. You got a little card in here. Right under that is your actual ceramic coating. Everybody knows this bottle. This is a pretty popular brand. It seems to be the go-to. And then under that, take out the little foam block. You have your applicator block. You got one side that's got the squishy foam, and then this is a harder, harder block, the one with their logo on it. This is actually the side you use to put the coating on. So you get the block, and what else is in here? You get a little cloth, again with their logo on it, that'll be to wipe smooth the nano coating once you put it on. And under here, dog's going crazy on the floor, you have a pair of gloves just to keep your oil and anything off your hands from getting onto the car, because once it's ready to go, that's all you want on there. You don't want any oils or contaminants on the car. And then in here, you get your sticker if you want. And then these are your little suede cloths. I think they're supposed to be three. We'll see once I open it up and start using it. 
And that is to wrap around here because you drop that on the suede cloth and then we wipe it on, but you'll see that once we get right, I forgot on to mention cloth. one other thing I got is just a little handheld applicator pad. It's the same as the round one for the dual action polisher, but it's more because the pad's so big, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get into little spots like that. Same with the corner on the back and everything. So a little bit of elbow grease should be able to get it pretty damn close. Or good enough for me anyway. All right, so I started a little bit, did the wing, did the trunk, and I did the roof. I was going to do a little bit of the polishing on camera, but that thing is a loud mofo. So I don't... You won't be able to hear anything I'm saying anyways, but you guys all know how many videos are out there about how to polish. So basically a couple dots, put them, spread it out low speed, spread it high speed, and just nice and slow back and forth. And you can see it's a little bit of dusting on there. I still got to wipe it, but you got a nice shine. You can see all the dust on the window, but especially up there, like you can see, Works fairly well. That VSS, not 100% happy. You can still see like the odd little tiny scratch. I thought I'd be able to get those little ones out. And then if you come to this side, wherever it is, it did help a little bit. But that swirl, it is still there. But like I said, it did change a bit. So you can't really see it in the camera. There you go. Not as bad, just a couple little minor, minor ones, but that might even get filled in with a ceramic coating, hopefully. But overall, not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna start on the hood. I did the doors and everything. You can see it's looking pretty sharp, but I figured everybody's gonna ask, why didn't I show the actual polisher? So what I did, five little dots, doesn't really matter where you put them. Going to do this with one hand, so it'll be a little bit hectic, but basically throw the cord over your neck. If you can see me in here, just like that, so it doesn't drag on your car. And all you got to do, you see it on all the videos, just blotch her out. Not going to get too fancy, because like I said, I'm just going to do this quickly with one hand. Your speed. You can see we're on six right now. Roll her down to one. And you won't be able to hear me, but start it up, kind of spread it out. And then once it's spread out, bump it up to six and you go until it's clear. So let's see if I can do this with one hand or show you before and after. So we just spread it out a little bit, nothing too fancy. Crank it up to six. It's going to have a little more torque and it's going to get loud. But basically just go back and forth a couple times, up and down a couple times. And then I wipe it with the cloth when I'm all done. So we'll go a couple times, I'll turn it off, and then I'll show you what it looks like after you wipe it with the dowel. So here we go.
can see what I mean while how it goes kind of clear. Looks like a little bit of a cloud in the light. And it does splatter a lot. It's a, just flinging all over the place, but that's what the spray is for later. And basically just take your microfiber, give it a wipe, and there you can see clear as day. So I'm going to keep going. I'll finish the rest of the car and then I'll show you what she's looking like when we're done. Well, there you have it, guys. Polishing is done. It's roasting hot in here, so I'm just going to spray the car down with that spray and wipe it, get all the oils and stuff off. And then I'll either wait till tonight or tomorrow morning before I put the coating on because right now, like I said, it's 30 degrees outside. I kept the door closed because it's actually cooler in here than out there, so... I'll get her all prepped, and when the temperature isn't so smoking hot, then we'll get the coating on there. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I'll just show you guys on the wing. It's small, it's easy to do. Get this. This does have the stuff on it. You just can't see it because it soaks in pretty quickly. Basically, just put a drop down the center. You take it. You can see. Back and forth. Not too much pressure, just enough that you coat it. You can see, especially on the black, you can definitely tell where you're getting it on. And like I said, just all the way. And it goes a long ways. There's just one strip down the middle of the ceramic like that and then just so you know you got it all same thing don't put too much pressure you don't want to wipe it off just go back and forth like that and that way when you're done you know the whole thing is coated And you can see how it sits like that. Eventually you'll get a little rainbow effect. And that's when you know it's time to bust it. So we're on to the hood. You can see, might not pick up in the camera. This side is done. That side is not. You can see the line here. So you do definitely get a lot of gloss right off the bat with this stuff. That side almost looks like we didn't wipe it down or anything. But that's actually perfectly clean. This is just really, really shiny. And then if you come down here, what I was talking about, you can see I'm still waiting for this chunk to dry. I do big chunks. I know they say do like a little two foot square, but that would take forever. But if you look close, you can see it kind of starts to get a little rainbow. Like you can see it there. It looks oily almost. That's how you know it's almost ready to buff off. And basically, it gives you, they send you emails and stuff when you're ordering the thing. Depending on what your temperature is, it's anywhere between like 2 to 5 minutes to like 10 to 15 minutes. Obviously, if it's really hot, it's 2 to 5. If it's cooler, it's the 10 to 15. So basically, just get your nice soft cloth they gave you. No pressure. Just... Buff it off, and that's what you're left with. I know there is little dings here and there still. I don't care. That's imperfections in the hood. But for the shine factor, definitely worth it. Okay, so I figured I'll throw in their instructions as well. I did the little unboxing there, but this kind of gives you the rundown. You can do a simple method where you just wash, wipe, and put it on. Or if you want to do the optimal method, is what we're doing. Wash, clay bar, polish, IPA wipe. I don't have an actual alcohol wipe, but that wipeout stuff from Chemical Guys is kind of like a, a simpler, not simpler version, but a, a different version. So works the same. Spray it on, gets all the oils and stuff off the car. 
Then to apply, you can see it tells you how to put the drops on, how to spread it out, where you should work, wipe it off, do the whole car. It's also good, you can layer it. It's good for paint, rims, glass, and lights. I didn't end up doing the glass or my lights yet, but I'm still debating. It's easy to do. It'll only be a few minutes to do that. But yeah, it gives you all the options here what to do. Also, it says down here, just add a few drops at a time. Make sure you cover it evenly. This is what you should really look at. I'll get it in the right light. Depending on the temperature, like I said, here right now we're like 30 degrees Celsius. So you can see it's only a one minute wait time. I said earlier it was longer, but I was way off. If you're cooler, you're in the colder months, 10 degrees, 15, you can see four to five, two to three. So you just, like I said, look for the flashing. And when you start to wipe it, if it looks like it's smearing, maybe give it a couple seconds. Otherwise, if it just looks like you're buffing it off and it kind of, it almost looks like it disappears, like there's nothing on there, but you're doing it right. As long as you give it the time to stay on there, it'll work. And then if you flip her over, you can see after applying it, it tells you don't let it sit on the surface too long. If you get too much, wipe it off right away. Layering, they recommend no more than three layers, but after a couple hours, they say go ahead, do another layer. This is the big one, drying and curing time. You can, don't get it out, like don't go out and drive it right away. You want to try to keep the dust and everything off for two hours. Don't touch or dry for five, blah, blah, blah. Bake it in the sun, as long as you're not in like a desert with this, you know, sand and dirt blowing all around. The hotter you get it, it's kind of like a paint, it'll cook. And then like it says, allow 48 hours before any water, rain, or snow, and then four to seven days until it's actually like fully cured. That's when you can start washing it down, wiping off the dust if it happens to get dirty. And yeah, maintenance just tells you two bucket method, which I don't do, so I'll be careful. And then just tips. Obviously well ventilated, all that different stuff. I'll let you guys read it, I won't go over everything. But that's Avalon King's little instructions. They also send you emails and stuff. Like I said, when you first order this, you'll get a couple emails and it tells you how to like prep the car, wash the car. Basically, they have little YouTube videos showing how to do all this in the booklet. So that's pretty cool too. If you want to go check that out, take a look. Okay guys, the car is all done. You can see plenty shiny. The trunk's just up because I was doing the fenders, so with the wing, those little pieces go over the side fenders, so you gotta pop the trunk to coat it proper. But she is looking good. I didn't bother with the rock chips, like that little one there. Fill that in another time. Doesn't really bother me too much. It's only one that I found. There's one more little tiny one by the light, but deal with those another day. For now, I'm just gonna let this sit and cure. And in a couple days, I'll take another video. And we'll see what she yes, looks here like. Here we go. The she is done. She is dry out in the sun. You can see all shiny, good to go, good as new for the most part. Still a couple little streaks in there, a couple rock chips, but like I said, first time doing it and I'm not in a big huff over it. It's good how it sits. So super easy to put on. A couple tips, make sure you're wearing shorts or something, no zippers or buttons. You don't want to scratch it as you go. And when it comes to wiping it off, when you go to buff it, if it looks like it's smearing, it's either not dried long enough or you put way too much on. Just give it a couple minutes, give it a good wipe down, it'll come off and you'll get this as your result. You can see, already picked up a little bit of dust because it's a 
a black car, you can't avoid it. But what they recommend is let it sit. Obviously, no water, no washing for, I believe they said a week. And then it'll harden because even now it's been a couple days. It's not fully cured. It is good enough to drive around, but, you know, don't go scrubbing it with soap or nothing. But this is what you will be left okay, with. Okay, so we'll do the little water test here. You guys remember in the last video, this was where I focused on all the beads that were on the car. So now that we're coated, we'll see how she does. And just like that, she will beads and falls right off. That, once we drive, will blow off like nothing. But as you can see up here, Nothing sticks because it's got the angle to slide down. That's pretty flat, so of course without any wind or anything it's going to sit there. But she works. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what you think and what you want to see. We'll get some more videos going. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.